don't know how Luna can live up this mountain, Jesus. Have to walk up this thing, this entire place, all day. My, Well, not all day, but every single time you want to walk up it, you have to climb up this one singular mountain, Jesus. <sighs> okay, made it. Right, we'll just walk around the campfire and around her crops, and hopefully they're all still... At yeah, they're all still up there, and Skelly is playing with Hashima. Of course she is, okay. Um, Jaina, hey! I dropped this set of supplies off with the guards, just so you know where they are. Uh, yeah, it's not a problem. I, um, just wanted to come and ask what you'd, what you'd brought. Well, we heard you had a new museum, so we managed to find some memorabilia for you. Oh, okay. Like what? Well, you already had a Karma Trident, so we managed to find an old set of Karma Point armor, and an old set of Faro armor too. <sighs> no way. Really? I mean, I thought after you left Karma Point, I mean, you lost it all, right? We lost a lot, but... Whatever was already packed in boxes we just took. Guns, weapons, armor, all kinds of stuff was just packed away. Probably for our next museum. So anyway, those two sets of armor. Uh, HK416, which is the gun used by Faro people, of course. We then have a set of Hilltop Colonies armor and one of their spears. We have a Kingdom Knight armor, a lot of that. But... You only need one. I see. And I suppose people from the kingdom didn't exactly have one specific weapon they used, so there's not like you could bring a weapon anyway. That is true, but we brought you Ezekiel's staff blade. Hold on. You're telling me he gave you his blade? No. The kingdom fell. Everyone except for two lived. Those two were Shiva and uh, Ezekiel. All of the old knights for the kingdom now take sanctuary at New Karma Point. All except for Henry and Jerry, and they're between Hillbo Hilltop and Alexandria, always just between the two. Oh, so Ezekiel is dead. How how did I not hear about this sooner? I mean, how long ago... Oh, never mind. How did I not hear about this? Well, we don't exactly hear much from Kingdom, Hilltop, or Alexandria anymore. The only reason they came to New Karma Point is because it was nearby. It brought our numbers right up, and they're great additions. The only thing is, is that now the, the king is dead, they all wanted someone to follow. And... Now we have a queen. Eve. So is is she queen? Eve is Eve queen now? Yeah. Queen Eve. And the guards are knights and the people are just curse and taints. But it's getting there once again. It's a process trying to get close to what we had before, but either way, yeah, that's that's why you have a staff. Okay, that really you know, that really is a shame. I mean I really I really liked Ezekiel. I mean, he had his moments, especially when it came to the horse buttons, but not one in a bag because it was blind in one eye, but he, in general, he was a good guy. Yes, well, I have good news for you. We brought an important thing for your museum. Claw's gun. His exact one. We had that in a box too. Sadly, I think Lucille is still in far row, but we have Claw's gun anyway. Right, well... Hopefully, I'm hoping, anyway, we'll get Lucille back at some point, but for now, thank you. I mean, that is a lot, and it's really going to brighten up the museum, I guess. You're very welcome. When we come back next, I'm expecting a tour of the museum. And I'm expecting a tour of New Karma Point. I know, shouldn't be long. We're just working on a rather large project right now. Once it's done, we'll invite you over. Um, I look forward to it. I'm glad to hear that. Anyway, I better get back to talking to Luna. We still have more to talk about, including who that young lady is and why she's living with Luna. Oh. So you, oh, you don't... Okay. Um, her name is Skelly, 
and I'll leave you to it, okay? And um, Luna, I'll make sure I'll speak to you before I leave anyway. I forgot to tell you, but a few minutes ago, Free Dog stopped by. He said he needed you for something and would wait for you at the radio tower. Why would he want me? I don't know, and he didn't say what he wanted, just that he needed you to meet him. Um, okay, um, thanks for passing the message. Guess I better be off to whew, meet Free Dog then. Um, okay, I say the best way is to go down this way because his house is by, right by the radio tower, so if I've got a meet him by the radio tower, I'm not going down the zip line. I do not trust that one little bit. Don't know how Luna can go down it every day. Either way, she's still got to walk up this mountain every single day just to get there, get to her house. I mean, it's an easy way down. Go down the zip line, which I don't trust. I mean, she put it up herself, but I still don't trust the fact that she has a zip line. I mean, in my opinion, there's enough ways to die and by not falling off a zip line, but if that's what you want to do. I mean, it makes things easier to get down, but the zip line really of all the ways you could you could have built like some kind of slide or anything but a zip line. But you went with a zip line anyway. But I'm not trusting that. I'll go down my way. I'll just think in my opinion it's safer, probably a little bit slower, but still safer and yeah, just safer in general really. So right. Radio tower. Okay, here we are. <laughs> I can still remember. Wow, that was a long time ago now, but I just, I can still remember that time that I jumped off it. Wow, that was a long time ago. I mean, I, I jumped off a lot of buildings in this general area. Right? I'm pretty sure I did. Did I? Yeah, I did. I definitely jumped off. I mean, the building before the city fell down in Greenport. I mean, there used to be a massive city there, but then the city fell down. But I can remember jumping off the building away from the cannibal clowns then, but... Wow, that was a long time ago now, but... Okay, um, hey, you wanted to see me? Luna delivered my message then. Yeah, why did you want to see me? I know this is going to sound weird, but... I've been working on the radio and... Well, I found someone and they're asking for you. What? What? Who? They didn't say. Honestly, they're not talking very loud. Seems like they're whispering for some reason. I could barely make out them saying your name. Okay, so how did you know that they were saying Ryan then, if you couldn't quite make it out? If it was just Ryan, I don't think I would have been as convinced. But they said Ryan Forrester. Your full name. So it's definitely for you. Um, sure. Okay. Suppose let's, let's just hope that... This isn't a threat. <sighs> okay, um, here goes nothing. Haven't used a radio in a while either, but here goes nothing. Where'd you go? Did you get him? Um, hello? This is Ryan Forrester. Ryan! Thank God! It's been too long. Who is this? Um, I can't quite make out your voice. You're quite quiet. I know this is going to be hard to process, but it's me, Allison. Allison? Wh where are you? I don't know. I I I'm safe, but I have no idea where I am. How can, how can you not? I mean, we have no idea where you are. I I, I was hoping at least you would. I mean, come on. You've you've got to be kidding me. Neither do I. Okay, listen. I was leading the horde away, and I fell. I tripped over a walker that was laying on the ground, and I managed to rip my arm open and was bleeding out. I left a blood trail. I went to the museum and got onto the roof. Passed out up there and must have rolled off because I woke up when I face planted the concrete. I cut my head when I did, and at this point I honestly thought I was dead. I don't remember much after that until I woke up in this place I'm in. So you're injured? I was. But the people where I am stitched and patched me up. I'm good. They're good people. Are you in a community then? Are you in a new community? No. 
some kind of bunker or something. They never leave, or well, at least haven't since they brought me here. They have plants growing and, and crops and a, a dog and a mule. Quite frankly, it's a beautiful place. Okay, so you're underground somewhere. I believe so. That's an air system, so yeah, I'd definitely say so. They have power too. Apparently connected to solar panels or something. I'm using a handheld radio right now and the signal on this thing isn't very good, so... I have to be near you anyway. Okay, so handheld radio, which needs to have... Uh, needs to be close to the signal it's trying to connect to, right? I mean, I think I know that much. So you could be under the community. Jeez, that's a scary thought. I never actually thought to consider the fact that there could be bunkers buried everywhere. It's possible, so... How's my family? Are they... are they okay? Yeah, I mean, they're pretty sure you're dead, but... At least now I can tell them you're not. <laughs> Other than that, they're okay. You can't. Not yet. Not until I can figure out how to convince these people they can trust you. I'm not even allowed to be using this radio right now. Wait, they know about me? They know, yeah. They've been down here since the beginning and only ever went out when they really needed something. Other than that, they have everything else. Food, water, ways of cleaning and exercise, working toilets and showers. They probably won't want to leave. But the guy in charge was an army sergeant. He's very strict with rules about leaving. It's a diverse group of people here. All kinds of jobs. I mean, there's a pilot, two scientists, a lighthouse keeper, a bartender who also makes his own alcohol, and like I said, the sergeant, and then we have his second in command. Yeah, there's an interesting group you've got down there, yeah. Uh, we could use a lot of those, and I'm also guessing that the lighthouse keeper might have been the lighthouse keeper for the lighthouse we've got. So yeah, we could definitely use that. I know. So what about the expansion? Um, a massive success, thanks to you and your sacrifice, obviously. That's amazing. And everyone made it? Yep, I mean everyone except for you. Yeah, well... I guess I made it too. Keep everyone together. I'm going to speak to everyone here and try and convince them to meet you. Just you, because right now they won't even go for that idea, so if I'm going to be able to convince them, it's going to have to be for them to meet just one unarmed person. I tell you what, you can say kid. Just this once, just this once. Okay, I know I don't like it when people say I'm a kid and underestimate me, although sometimes it helps, but although I don't like it, I'll, I'll let you do it this once. You can say kid, okay? It'll probably make them feel better. So you can say, ask, or tell them to meet one unarmed kid. And then hopefully that'll make them feel a little bit better about themselves. True. Well, I suppose I'll do that. I'll try my hardest, and I look forward to seeing how the community is getting on. I have to go now. As they're coming back. I'll radio back when they have a decision. No, Al Allison, wait! God damn it. <sighs> well, thank God. I've been keeping up hope that she's alive. I knew she was better than that. Than to just die by a horde of z a herd of zombies. I always call them hordes. But they're not hordes. They're herds. And I mean, I suppose it's the same kind of thing. But <sighs> either way, I knew she was better than that. And I'm glad she's alive kind of annoyed that I can't tell Donovan, Carly, and Callum, but I suppose it's for the best, because if they can't, if she can't get out of that bunker, then I suppose it's not exactly like we're going to see her again, so. Right. Let's just hope. I'll keep this to myself. Good thing is Free Dog can't hear me. I'm going to keep this to myself. I'm not going to tell anyone except for the people I trust the most. No, I can't. I can't even do that because I trust Donovan a lot, so... I can't tell anyone. I've got to keep this to myself until I know for sure that we can meet Allison again. Okay. At least she's alive. That's that's the main thing. It may There may be another problem here, but... 
least she's alive, and one way or another, we will see her again. She, she'll get back to her family, and that's that's definitely the main thing, the most important thing, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. <laughs>